Paro Ninja. Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be looking at how we've been using Pardot form handlers to help our customers deal with multiple lead providers and lead referrers. Specifically in the education and financial services industries, there are a lot of uh, lead brokers that pass on leads um, from multiple locations to the same customer. So to be able to deal with this in a really streamlined way that increases customer experience, um, helps with efficiencies within the business, Pardot form handlers can actually ensure that the lead providers are able to keep their form styled how they want to on their site, but also send through those lead submissions straight into your system using the Pardot part form handler connection as opposed to using a standard form, uh, which can often cause duplication issues. And sometimes the lead doesn't actually come through at all. So it's a very bad customer experience. So have a look at what we've got to say. Let us know if you've got any questions and hopefully you're on your way to becoming a certified Pardot Ninja. So today we're gonna to show you um, what you come across or what these customers have been coming across um, when using generic form integrations um, without Pardot. And then we'll also show you what the benefits are uh, for using Pardot um, to solve for this problem that's commonly happening across our customer base. So if I put my name in here, <clears throat> and hypothetically submit that, what you'll actually, if, if that um, if that prospect or my record is already in the CRM, you'll actually receive an email. And obviously this is a screenshot that we've taken earlier. So you can see that Arnold's actually the one that submitted the initial form request, but you can see um, that the, the, the inquiry essentially was not able to be submitted because the lead already exists in the system. Now, what we've, done for our customers that have been experiencing these issues is we've helped them um, create form handlers in Pardot, which essentially allows the lead providers to keep their current forms how they are. So the lead providers don't have to sacrifice anything around their branding or um, anything around how they usually operate. All they need to do is just add a little bit of a command or a script at the end of their uh, whatever whatever platform they're using um, to harvest these leads and send that submission to this URL, which is which is the form handler, which then ha allows the data to end up inside of um, of Pardo. So this time, if I was to submit this information, you'll actually find that <clears throat> firstly, um, you won't get a lead error, uh, an error back from Salesforce. And secondly, you'll be able to see things such as within your within your pilot reports, you'll be able to see under your forms and form handler section, you'll be able to see submissions specific to those. And you can see that that's come through today. And then under the actual prospect prospect record itself, you'll be able to see, if I sort this by date and time, you'll be able to see um, any activity history related to that prospect. So you'll, things like page visits, um, but obviously in this case, any additional forms that have been submitted and where they've come from. So if you've got a handful of different lead providers or brokers that you work with, um, you can actually see specifically where those inquiries have come from 
um, and score them appropriately so that you can give that end customer as much of a personalized um, experience as possible. As always, hope you got a lot of value out of that. You should really be considering form handlers if you do have multiple lead providers or brokers sending you data from different locations. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to chat. Pardo, ninja. Hey guys, thanks for watching that episode. We hope you got a lot of value out of it. Please don't forget to subscribe and engage with the content because a lot of it is driven by you guys, the user. So we need to know your feedback. Cheers.